Got obviously uh, the new guy's stuff ready. So as soon as he comes, I'm going to go doing the carpet. Shocking deal. Look, I'm so. Right, morning guys. So, half past seven. We are in the office. Uh, just in now, obviously, I used to come sit in the office in the morning. I'd sit there on my own pondering, but I just like to be at home now. It's nice to have breakfast and stuff with the kids. Still got me slippers on. I popped in early. I say early, I've been up early, but I popped in because I'm going to get Luke's boiler. He's got a boiler up on today, so I'm going to get Luke's boiler up there. Then we've got it, Harry's uniform ready handed to him today, so I've got his uh, t shirt, G Lay, pants, knee pads, everything. So his full pack is going to be ready to go today. Uh, but we post going on the Instagram later. I'm sure you'll see that obviously follow the Instagram. If you don't follow the Instagram, why not follow it? Anyway, I'm not going to give the like, subscribe. If you do want one, I'm not really bothered. If you like it, like it. If you don't, unfollow it. Me and care. But, anyways, in a nutshell today, so. Meeting this morning, contracts being signed and stuff. New vans arriving this week. So it's been massive for us this week in relation to obviously negativity. Negativity can grind you down the business, pull you down. You know, we all have bad times, but you've always got to look for the positive. Now it sounds a bit weird, but it doesn't sound weird, it's just the way it is. Look, crashes van, on the positive note, we've got a new van. Yes, it's been a cost to the business and everything, but it's a cost that we can afford because we are moving forward. Uh, new business for myself is getting set up this week, so I'm going to be set up a new business now called Caprani Media. I've sent all the details off to the accountant, he's going to get that set up and come to his house, so I will be the director and have two businesses. And the media side is going to be more in relation to, obviously, cutting Caprani coming and heating away from Caprani Media, i.e. the YouTube, the sponsors, the followers, everything else. So it will all still be the same, but we're just going to merge it into a separate business. It's just even for tax efficiency, obviously working the books and stuff like that. But yeah, a lot of good things. I'm not going to keep rambling on, because again, time is money. I need to get tidied up, get some tunes on, get ready for the day. Van loaded, we've got a big one, we're going to go. Tell you what's freezing, do you know why though? Because I've got that water heater there, just soaking up all the heat. That box is lovely one, but it's cold in this side, but not a problem. Uh, yeah, and then obviously we've got the new toilet to go and stuff in the back now, which is great. So the flooring's going to be here imminently, and then uh, this is getting laid. So yeah, it's onwards and upwards, you know. It's always a weird time, this time of year, January. We're busy. The bills that are going out are astronomical, that, you name it. But we don't care. We keep moving forward. Let's go. Bosh. So we've got, obviously, uh, the new guy's stuff ready. So as soon as he comes in... He can get in change to the best branded gear in the UK. So he's got his hat, uh, new pants, new boots, new belt. He's got, I'll admit, a couple of old T-shirts. He's just getting printed up now in jackets. New boots as well. So onwards and upwards, let's go get it. Right, morning guys. So it is now 10 to 9. We're just waiting for the office staff to come in out with Dale. Do you know what I mean? The, the men are here. 8 o'clock on the dot. Quarter to eight. Quarter to eight, yeah, quarter to eight. Fair play, mate, fair play. On another level, here's a new guy, Harry. <laughs> Say morning, lad. Morning. So Harry is bringing, what are you bringing to Caprani, Harry? A lot of expertise. Brains. Brains, that's it, <laughs> brains. Yeah. Pinky yeah. in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> so Harry started today, obviously, he's handed all his gear, handed over the stuff from the scene earlier. Jessica's in shortly. With Dale, we're just gonna go over a couple of little bits and I'm out of here, I've got a boiler to go fit. Fortunate for Harry, bless him, he's paired up a look today, so it's gonna be a really rubbish day for him, but Someone has to be a bit there from what But yeah, you'll be seeing plenty of his mug. No, oh, his mug, he's a great guy, he's a boxer, he's gonna get his all rich, you'll see his all like looking like Andrew Tate, like <laughs> So just doing the handover with the office. I'm in the background video with Just getting his contract done. Reading it over Stefan Buck. Doing what he needs to do. What are you doing today? What are you doing today? Not a lot by the looks of it. Do you really want me to go for it? No. <laughs> exactly. So, by giving, by keeping two back, we'll give you two. Right, no. Does that make sense that we all go? Good. That's why I tend to sit these meetings just in the background. I don't really do that. Discussing holidays and all, but no. It is what it is. I'm not entitled to these benefits, which is unfortunate, you know, but. So again, this I'll just sit here and see what's going on. Direct in that position, if you know what I mean. Right guys, so I'm out of the office now. Next project for me is this Zip Packer Point 3. We are taking this out. We're going to replace this with a new Ariston 
50 litre Wi-Fi enabled water heater for energy efficiencies for the building as well. Uh, I'm on my own again today. Georgia College, Harry's with Luke doing a boiler swap, so don't have much banter on my own. I'll try. But yeah, we're pressing, not stressing. I'll get all this stripped out. It's pretty much straight swap. I've got my tundish pipe there. Drain off some bottle of the place. I'll get this unit drained down. Disconnect some electricians, electricians to put in. Cut the pipe where I count new one on the wall. Let's go. Work on your own. Loan work and it's rubbish. Well, let's crack on. So I'll start getting drained down now. Disconnect electrics. I don't know how much water that's got in. Looks already been drained more, so it's wait for the water heat to come in, so and get this drain off up and up, make sure that's working good. I hate drain offs as well. They always seem to not work. So it's draining. Which is good. Excuse me, I'm working in a kennel so the dog's going by me. I had to put the bucket there because the drain off to the waste, but unvented install. So I didn't realise this was stripping out now, but tell me what's wrong with this install. So I've got my cold main, comes in from there, it comes across, it goes from a valve, expansion, it comes down, then I've installed a valve, and then it goes to the unit. So you tell me what's wrong with that one. Uh, looking at that, we put the valve after all the safety controls, so potentially is a issue where it wouldn't blow up, but obviously if someone turned it on, we'll have a temperature relief valve on that as well. But if it's the cap that off and leave that going, then we'll have a potential obviously ruptured air unit, so taking lagging off exposing, these things can happen, but obviously this has been there for years, so we'll install it the correct way today. Uh, the other nightmare thing is there, I'd love to shut the full building down, I thought it was a local isolation, so we have to now shut the full building down to incorporate a 22 relief valve up there, but Something in the world, let's crack on. Right, so I found the stock tap for the building. So while that's draining off still, I'm gonna go now, pop and go get a 22 millilitre valve. I'm gonna cut that there now, because uh, that looking stain as it is. I'll cut the 22 millilitre valve there, get the building back on, I can get this all incorporated back on as it needs to. I'm gonna have to reconfigure, I might even cut it there, and I'm gonna cut it there. So then that's gonna shut off this bit here. Cause I, may, I think I'm gonna have to reconfigure a lot of this to kick it back into the way they've done it just for the new unit to go into, it's a little bit wider, but that's a beast of a unit that side. It's starting to drain off now, so I've got to open the temperature leaf valve as well, to drain off, and then uh, get the electrics disconnected out of there. So that's the beast I'm fitting. The Everson Velis Evo 45, Wi-Fi enabled. Quite good to be fair, fit a few of them now. Fans are right, miss, killing me. Where's my valves? Isolation valves there, so again, being organised is massive in this game. I better have. Oh no. Oh no. Something's not right. I had some valves the other day that I would lads have put them. Like Georgia and me. I had two valves and I said, George, put them in the van. We'll need them. I don't think he's put them on the donor. Oil meter there for reading oil tanks. It's all there. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to leave sight. Press buttons. To be fair, we might have put it the wrong box, I'm hoping here. Maybe, oh god. Yeah, we definitely got them. To be fair, I can choose that gate valve. I'll just get some new nuts and and shift it back. I prefer the valves, but it's not the end of the world. I keep a stock of everything. Look at Luke, change his profile on Instagram. I love it. So I need some trying to my lives. Is it an issue? No, that looks. Look. So I put them two valves. I'm sure I put them in the van. I don't know where he's put them. Look, it is what it is. I'm going to make it work. I'm not going to mind. If he's put them in there, I don't want to leave them in there. Gimbal. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. Look. I've got some 22 mil. There, three quarters. 22 mil lives there, sorted. So I'll use them, should we use the same gate valve? It's 10 to 12 now, what the plan's gonna be? We'll have to cut that out there. We'll use that gate valve. I'm drained on the water now. I knew you'd do it. Just as I start cutting off. Start running the water down, I knew it'd do it. Uh, not a bad cut, I'll get that disconnected. 
lifted there now. Is that the hot pots are called it? Times that can be quite aggressive. Just haven't done up. But anyways, I'll pull that all the way now. It's not ideal, I've done this, but that valve took the farm, the old valve. I'll pop that back on now because obviously the stand back now I'm gonna go turn the water back onto the building. Uh, I can literally just strip that out so five to twelve. I've just got local isolation there now you can see. I click it and issue it pulled off the wall and a new one put on. It's working on your own though. Cold mains right at the end of the building. I have to whip that on. If it's leaking, it's leaking. I'm going to check that out now. And then she's a good one. So that's off now. I think that's drained as well. So I'm going to get this off the wall. These kind of electrics. Off we go. That is doing my nutting already. Just that noise is horrendous, man. I can't turn it off. It's a bloody sensor. So she's off anyway. Pipes cut back. I'm just getting these brackets off. I'm hoping, I've got some decent fixings in the van, but I presume it's going to come with a bracket, something similar to this. Again, 50 litres on your wall is uh, quite a lot, so we'll get it bracketed up there, and she's uh, good to go. I'm just going to pull these hefty bolts out off the old one now. So this is the beast. To be honest, we have opened the box totally the wrong way, yeah. Upside down, I want the template. So the two brackets there, there's no template, let's get this out. Right, so blank canvas is created, I've got marked out now. So there and there my bracket's gonna be. She needs to whip that expansion off, that last clip. And then she's good to go, get this one on the wall. Not bad for time on my own, it's 25 to one, I get cleaned up and then have some dinner. Again, excuse that noise. Brackets going on. I need to shift it over a bit. That's even on the nip of the air, okay. The stair level, and there, uh, Alan Key tighten up that now. I can lift the unit on. Just that time. I was expecting some steam. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's a bit of steam there. Got some dinner now. I was up here this morning, got a pack up made. I'm to the habit of making pack up again. Uh, working on the van, I'm just sitting outside the kennels now. I'm just going to have a quick bite to eat sandwich, bag of crisp, a cup of tea that I made. And crack on. I've got the unit on the wall now, so units on the wall. So after next, just uh, it's ten to one now. Just case of getting it piped up and stuff, and seeing what goes. I'll be honest, I'll be more set down this now. I've got to wear, uh, get it done, get it commissioned, and then just make sure it's all working. So we crack on and we win together. So there's not a lot I can really do about this situation. I want to make the job work, so I want to lean on the unit, which isn't ideal. But there, we've land, so we're safe. So what I've got to do now is get my core main, which is there. Make sure that's back on. <sighs> right, sorry, I'll crack it around in a minute. I'm going to run the cold main, I'm going to put a T there, pull a bend, come down, pick that up, pick that up because I'm not taking off balance cord. Now we've been cold along, put my expansion up here and then my temperature leaf valve and my block so that'll all connect in back to my tun dish which is there. I'll bring the cold main down the side here, just to the side of that socket, then below it, and then into there. Then say my hot's just gonna come up there, and that stitch needs to come up to this one here. So it's not bad, bad little job. Uh, don't mind doing jobs like some of you. Just crack on. Not really pretty like kind of dogs. In best interest, there's no point in being here. Uh, I don't mean that sound horrible. Do you know? We're beginning to bit the time, so I've got a couple of little maintenance jobs to do as well. So I'm trying to get this in done. There's always a couple of little maintenance jobs. I just don't get this. Why did I cover up in that much rubbish? But anyway. Well, sleek little unit. Right, so I just want to run through clip box. I'm using talons for this. The reason being, I don't know if cool. The reason being is I'm using talons. You just get talons on the four side space off and lag it. Screw box is paramount that it's set up properly. So I have a array of screws, and they are sponsored by these yet. But these Fisher Duo fixings have got to be the best uh, screws and plugs I've used. I'm not going to lie to you. These ones I used to use. So just your cheap, cheerful red ones. And to be fair, I have an issue with them. We got sent some of them free of charge of Fisher to try them out, and uh, wow, they're the best thing going. So, if you haven't already got them, go cop them, they're absolutely unreal. That fan is doing me absolute heading. He's just <gasps> anyway, let's get back to this. So, 
Fisher Jaws I was saying down there. I don't think any tapping stick, I've got it, but I'll just use it because I've got it, the old S-Wing. Make sure she's in. So these, I mean, like I say, I love these uh, new fixings I've got. Town spacers. That's set up now. So what I can do there is get my pipe work set in so you can see reason being. One second, let me get this in. Because this may be wrong. Nah, not wrong. It's never wrong with me. So I'll just literally go there. That's going to go there. I'm going to put my block valve in there so it's spaced off so I can lag it. Then it's going to come down, follow along now as I've discussed like that. So then, for the win. For the win. So these don't in, reason being. That fan again. They come with a, you'll see there, they come for the expansion or oh, I'm not going to use it, I'm going to tee off here. Because the way I'm going to do it is I want to get my valve sat in there now. And to be fair, that's pretty good as it is, so I'm just going to get that mid up like that. That should be able to push into there. Like it is. And then what I can do, press fit a cap onto there. Press fit a cap on that to shut that down. That full valve's flowing the right way now. The temperature leave can literally go straight into what I must do is drop it down. I don't know what to do. Let's go along, pick that up. I've got to get it back down to there so it's a bit long winded. But then here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a T on the end of this here. Then I'm going to tee up for the expansion. So expansion will be sighted there. Then the cold just can come straight down. I've got my local isolation there so everyone's a winner. So you can see which one I'm thinking of trying to go over this. Obviously, cold's going to go in. Pull the balancing valve, block valve, what I'm going to call it now. Cap my balance cord because I don't need one. I'm going to tee off here for my expansion. I'm going to set the expansion vessel there now. And it's just literally going to come straight down. Reduce to 15 there. Pull a nice little dingle straight into there because obviously there's no point in taking 22 when it's there. It's only half inch entry there. That's going to get the hot out to it and then tie them to a couple of pipes up there. Fuel guys that don't press. Where have you been for the past few years? We've been doing this for a few years now. Got this gun a couple of years ago. This is the OG. We're going to get a new one for Luke's van. Sometimes find myself just stroking it nicely, but these are great bits of kit. Again, got all that pressed up now. Ready for my expansion and uh, everything. So it's it's easy, isn't it? Look at that. Boom. Easy, easy. Cap that. And then I can do what I can say. So it's starting to take a bit of shape now. So I like to recycle as well. I'm not going to lie. I'm putting new expansion, but I've not got one of these in the van. So I'm just going to reuse it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's only my three quarters, 15 from expansion for the, uh, the expansion, the expansion to the language of the expansion. So I'll just reuse that new olive in it for the new vessel, which is over there. Again, I would have gone to Merchants, but pulling off site, it's a good 25 minute trip there. 25 minute trip back, it's an hours round trip, so. Not the end of the world, that's fine, just want a bit of a clean up. I'll take the nut off there, cut that off. I'll tell you what I did say, I'll see if it worked now, but hey, uh, my guys, look over on Instagram, UK Boiler Fit, did this with an olive and I was quite impressed. Got that. I don't know if it's going to work this time. At the start, yeah, it is, because it's, you know, it's moving the olive up now, so you can't just squeeze it, but I'll grab all that and just whip it off. So if you're working on your own, good gear everywhere, it's nice and tardy. Like I say, I'll take you in here now and see. The coal mains up there, expansion's going up there. Now I'm trying to get the bits from it down now. I'm just going to get the coal dragged in. Drag my hot back to his point there and the two coals. Right, the expansion there, and the reason being I've done that is just I thought it was going to be too tight, I've got enough here to get that straight down. So I'm going to pull a 90 degree bend to get it in, and then send an F straight into there. Uh, folks, we'll get this filled up first and get the hot water one. I think I bought the bender machine in. I'm an OG, organised, been a machine format. I'll get some pipe. Well, I've got some 15mm uh, MFs, I bet they giving them. Nope, they didn't give us none. Don't my elbow, a bit of pipe will do.
that press as well saves so much time. What you're meant to do with your fittings is when you press the special put across like that, but because these have got the indicator tape on, when once that white tape's come off, I know it's done so no so again. They send them. I don't tend to use them, to be honest with you. I hope there's a lot of string or paste on them, just a bit of PT dog wit. I just don't like them, to be honest with you, but gotta go on for the warranty. These plastic ones are brass, I just always think you walk into a can of worms in relation to uh, a leak in the future, but that's one done. So I swore that straight onto the unit and She's good to go, but I just don't like the plastic to that, but anyway, it's nice and clean. Excuse the nut as well, I've had to make it work again, I'm not doing a round trip. They don't have no nuts on, so apologies for the haters out there. I messed up slightly, getting ahead of myself, getting the coal drawn in there, doing the expansion and everything else. I need to cut the coal feed into here to pick up that and that. So I'm not going to have to faff with, which is annoying because the new clips as well. Ah. Oh. Ah, gutted. Taking that out just enough so I can uh, I'll have to replace that clip. Excuse the noise as well, it's done my nutting on this job today, it's just been in my ear. Go. Pull that out, pull that out as well. So I should have a bit of build to get the cutters in there now. I'm gonna go for it there, I'm gonna up too tight. Cut it in there, and I can literally just have it like that. Elbow, pull a bend and pick up them two cords. So what I'm going to do is mark it there. So hopefully you can still see it. So I'm just popping the front camera up for this here. Come on, get a bite. So I've got to mark the next dimension, which is going to be there. I need to cut that much out. Cut that much out there. And what I can do is hopefully pull that apart enough just to get that in. I've got to incorporate, I can get the drawers in, so the drawers will go there and they'll go there. So I'm not using the balance comb, this reason being is I don't need a balance, this is a high pressure. So this needs to go down to high pressure out what's downstream the line. Just open that. I think I've got it now. Oh. Right, it should be able to now. Put a cap on that. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? No. No. What do I heat up and just melt it onto there? Just hold on to cap with that. It's gonna be real annoying. So that was tricky. Let's pull up the bend, dingle, dangle, dingle, straight on. DRC is gonna go there. There she is. We get this pressed up now again. It's where we'll press. So much easier. Let's go down to press up there. Start to take shape now. That fan has done my absolute nothing today. It's been non stop in my ear. We're getting everything pressed up now. That's a beautiful press, you can prefab it all and get it all together. That's looking good. One hand over the camera. I'm not gonna lie, that I'm gonna smash that much dumb it in. Put it a drain off cock now. I'm also gonna wear it myself to be fair as well. So what cheek little pass over there, that's all in tarding. I've got my hot tarding now as well. One's up there, picked up the two cords which are there. It comes across, 
comes off my high pressure system which is here and this goes to a balance involved there obviously i've capped that because i'm not going to use a balance cord don't want to balance there high pressure balance cord as soon as got discharge is done now so then one's there and get that tea into there so i might even just put a tea there pull the cheek up a bend tea then tea and then come across with it there and get onto i'm going to put new tum dish on we'll get onto the tum dish down there but it's taking shape again job that is when you're going to take a little bit longer it's 20 to 3 now uh, and again don't know that I'm going to slather because of the height where it is. I could have waited to drain that tank and stuff down, but that would just be an absolute pig, I'd honestly. So I'm glad I've not drained that down, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Beast, now. Beast. The reason I'm using that one, I'll be honest with you, this is John Guess one. But putting them into them, like so. It goes in lovely. Where's my press gun? It does the job. Absolutely lovely. I'll get this filled up now. Give it a good test in and then I can get out of here because that has done my nutting. It's about that time. Right then, let's see. I'm waiting for the water to run up the sink down there. So with gate valves are always as well, fully open. Crank it and give it a quarter turn back. So I've got that tap open down there, because what I'm gonna do is obviously I need to purge the full appliance, make sure she's uh, good. Let's start filling the weight so it's weight bearing that the fixing the bottom. So you can see now when I do that. Filling up. It'll take a while to fill it's 50 litres in there, or 45, what do you call it? Hey, uh, white's done that, I'm just going to get it wired up now. Because uh, once that's full, we can get the digital screen set up and good to go. So now that's just going through. Once that's going to go up, I should just get to the top. I'm up here ready because that didn't sound so good. Did it? Ah! the pressure difference there. She's looking good. Now she's full, I'll look to get that wired. Oh, it's not fixings like that, it's solid that. It's good. So I'm happy with that. Got the, get the wiring done, which I'm going to do now once we get that wiring. I'm going to cut that down because it is quite long. Cut that down, pop that into there and then we're good to go. So I've got the power turned off as well, so it wire up itself. It's pretty straightforward. It's literally Lab to there, you can set time and stuff up uh, for the Wi-Fi enabled app, eco mode, so it knows that I'm being used for a while. So they are good bits of kit, I don't like them. Just don't like that. Put that on my way along, but put that on. I'm quite sleek, especially for commercial premises. Just for like, these dog kennels hot water, it looks a lot better. Imagine if we did that and pulled the other floor. Bit of a bad time, mate. But yeah, we've got these now. The fuel's have dropped down there. Don't know where it's gone. It's boxed around getting all now, which is widened now. And they're good as well, because again, like I say, that just sits like that. Click shut. Put a couple of clips on there just to tidy it up. Don't have a look the best, like I say, just does what it does. A couple of clips on there. And uh, she'll be good to get turned on. I've just got my discharge to do, so all in all, it's been a good day's work. So I need 13 to keep all them spare as well. Quick blow, 3 amps. That is 13. In there, 13 in there. Double check. 
uh, you know, the five on foil boilers. Oh, oh my word. <coughs> So it's just heated up going through sequence now. We're set to 50 now, no 60. Get set to there, she's good to go. The screen's good to go. Oh, eco. I like this. Snazzy. I'm honest as well, I'm surprised they've held. I didn't think they was going to hold out, but they have got an array of colours there, haven't we? We've got copper, silver, brass, and then we're down onto the plastic to the red. Not that keen, but good job. So I've got to do now. While that's heating up, doing what I should be doing. Put the discharges together and drop them into there. But I'm putting new tumblers on that. Just makes sense of certain ones. So see you later. I'll get Opinion, no, I'm not happy with it, but <whistles> ah, that's a bit more. It's about two on the end.
So I'm just getting tidied up now. Everything's back. Just need to pop back uh, back on site tomorrow. I've got to get it legged up. So out of 10, fit them again. I'm impressed with them. Good units. Just obviously that now. Getting everything to the van. The chores begin. So, we're all about saving energy. I'm off site, I've come back to office South Daly's, and Dale's been doing my nothing today saying, can't wait, can't see anything. I said, we'll turn the lights on. Should we go in the back and see what this geezer has been doing? This guy has laid the floor. I'll let you. No, I won't rip that to bits. What Louis, I'm impressed with, Dale. Lewis has been passed to me. Right, you know, I'm looked. Why's it that? Lewis, who? Lewis, uh, Lewis. Oh. Right, so it's on the ground as well, it's gone on the store, right? Dale has been fitting the floor in the back, so let's have a look. I know it's a look what Dale's had a go at doing the carpet, shocking Dale. Look, I'm so, I'm it's on the ground as well, it's gone on the store. Oh, mate, that's mint, bloody hell. Hey, no, mate. Fair play to your respect, that looks mint, that. You've done a good job with that as well, it looks real good. Because the idea being is that the tongue and grooves. We might not need the door, but if we can get some seven mil. Like it, Dale. You've done a good job with this, mate. Good job. Mm. Happy days, that, that. That was a bugger, that, mate. That was one. No, fair play. It looks real, well, mate. Mm. Just get a bit scared, that, but happy days. So, that's us for tonight. I'm going to sign out. I'm going to go home, cook Hello Fresh. I'm absolutely gutted. That's part of being a dad. <laughs>